Hi everyone, I'm Jack and I'm just going to be talking about and explaining the National 5 and higher DNM codes. So I've done National 5 DNM in S4 and I really enjoyed it. It was, it was a good class, you learned quite a lot during it. And uh, in S, for uh, Nat 5, you spend half the time in the workshop and half the time like actually in class doing work. So most people normally enjoy the time in the workshop just because you get to do more practical stuff obviously. You learn a lot more skills I would say in the workshop that you're probably then going to go on and use. But um, no, the class stuff is still good. So the course is split into two parts. You have your folio work which are given a brief and you have to design a product or item that fits that brief but you have like full like control over it. It's your say everything like you want goes pretty much as long as it follows this brief. And then after you've designed that you've worked with your folio you then go into the clash no the workshop and you start you then make that product you've got to make it as high quality and as well done as you can and then obviously there is still the exam work but you sort of do like learn that stuff throughout the year like a lot of the stuff you need for the exam you will learn in the workshop and whilst doing your folio because you need to learn different materials different cuts different ways to put stuff together but you just learn that throughout the year anyway most people that you talk to will probably say they enjoyed National 5 more just because you're in the workshop a lot more but then the higher course which you can do the year after or just if you pass it you spend a lot more time on your folio designing the stuff you're, like, you're in the workshop at times and you're in quite a lot at the start of the year but then as year goes on you've got like a bigger folio to do so you spend a lot of time concentrating on that but for you you don't at the end of the year you don't actually then make that what you've designed which personally I quite enjoy tire a bit more because when you're designing something that you know you have to make you're limited to how well designed it can be whereas in the higher course since you're not actually making what you've designed you've got a lot more like creative freedom you can you can do a lot more with it I'd say you can you've got more options you can make it bigger you can as long as on paper it works and it's not just some like far-fetched idea as long as on paper you can make it work then it, I just preferred that aspect of it more. Yeah, you still are in the workshop. You've got to show that you can make stuff well, pretty much. So you're going to the workshop. You'll design different parts of it, maybe like a few joints of your item. But no, I, I enjoy tire. I'll probably more, I'd say. Then the exam work is pretty much the same t uh, National 5, I would say. You um you should know a lot more. You need to be able to show that you understand different materials, like what they're good for, and that a lot more. With having done both of these subjects, or even if you just want to do the National Five, or if you're an S five or an S six, you might just feel like doing it now because you might want to crash the higher. With these qualifications, you it brings a lot of stuff that you can then go into. So you could go and do like a craft and design course at college or uni or if you wanted to leave school early or right after school wanted to try getting a modern apprenticeship at like joinery or something or carpenter it just it helps you with that because you've got experience of working in a workshop designing stuff having like problems whilst doing work because when you're in the workshop you come across a lot of issues you find that some parts won't work it might not go the way you want it to so having this it just it shows employers or universities, colleges that you already have that like experience and knowledge that'll help you already.